Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Fold, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So the device in front of me is obviously locked, and you can see that uh, there is a pattern unlock or through the normal Google account. Now, try to remember that there is a pattern because we're all gonna we're gonna change that later on. So as you can see, there is also the uh, verify your account. Here. So you want to get to this point right here and you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi from here and stop on the The point where we need to enter our email and tap on the three dots right here and choose Samsung pass Get started And we'll need to update at least the uh, store. So let's check that on agree And it actually doesn't look like we need to upgrade uh, update the store so once you get here uh, you do not want to press the update. You actually want to scroll down to view all right here and tap on the email address. This will open up Gmail. So I'll just tap skip here and then add an email address and choose Outlook Hotmail Live. And you will need a Microsoft account so you can go and create one if you don't have one. And if you do, you can use it to simply log in here. Uh, I already have one, so I don't need to create it, and that's what I'm gonna use. Now, when you're writing uh, the email right here, you do need to write it fully, so with uh, at the gmail.com. Let's tap on next, and here I'm gonna put in a password. Now, keep in mind that the password is case sensitive, so if you're having problems with logging in, Try to have some capital letters. Tap on sign in. And you can see that it's logging in right now. Let's simply tap on the next, next, and take me to mail. And once you're in here, tap on the three dots right in the corner and go to help and feedback. And the search bar, you want to start typing in delete. So, delete. And you will have the second option right here delete or disable apps on Android. Tap on it. And then, in the point right here, delete apps uh, that you installed, you will have the first point uh, in the blue text uh, to uh, tap to go to the application settings. So, tap on that. And from here, we're going to scroll down to Google. We have Google right here. Tap on it, and then you want to open it up with this button right here. So open. No thanks. We don't want to sign in. And a search bar for the Google. Simply type in settings. You can see right here settings. So it's the one with the app uh, icon to it. This will open up the settings app itself. And from here you want to go to biometrics and security. Scroll down to other security settings. And at the bottom, you should see pin windows. Tap on it. So you can, you can either tap on it or enable it and then tap on it. But once you tap, uh, you will go to here. So just make that sure that it's on. And then also enable use screen lock to unpin. And this will force us to set up a new method of unlocking the device. Now this completely bypasses and overrides the previous one, which was a pattern. So we're gonna go with a pin for now, uh, just so you can see the difference. So as you remember, there was a pattern before, I'm choosing right now pin, and it needs to have at least four digits. So I'm gonna go with one, two, three, four, nothing really complicated. Continue, repeat it. Repeat the same pin once more to confirm it, and tap on OK. And there we go, now it's set. So from here, I just simply hold the power key, power off, and select restart. Now you do need to remember this uh, pen for a couple minutes, so we will need to use it about three or four times uh, throughout this process. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, first thing, uh, we'll need to put it in to actually unlock the device. Even though it's in the setup, it's now locked. 
So one, two, three, four. Okay, and there it is, now it's unlocked. And from here, I just skip through most of this as we can. Next, next, next. And you can see right here, that was previously the page that was telling us to verify it with a pattern. Now it's verify pen. So let's just put our super secure pin, one, two, three, four, next. And now it bypasses the Google verification. So we can, oops, we can skip this. Go to more, accept. Let's disable this and tap on okay. Uh, skip this too. Next and there we go. So from the home screen, we're gonna go into the settings and we're gonna finish the process of bypassing this by resetting the device. So go to general management, reset and factory data reset. It will give you a bunch of things that it will remove. Uh, now this device is reset, so there is not much apart from this email address that we have added. Um, so that's the account for Google. But it also will remove the previous one that is still left over somewhere in the memory of the device. So let's up on reset. Again, verify pen. So one, oops. One, two, three, four. Next. And delete all. And as you can see, now the process is finished and we can set up our device once more. So let's start off by choosing the language. Now this time around, you can set it up as however you like. The device is fully unlocked. So that's, there we go, English. Next. We should turn on the data I'm gonna mute this, next. Uh, yep, I have read everything. Um, and there we go, Wi-Fi connection, we can skip this. Uh, we're re connecting to network is no more re not, not not required anymore, so it's not needed. Don't copy. Set it up as new. Let's go next. Now I'm trying to go through it as quick as I can, uh, just to skip as much and get to the home screen. But like I said, you can set it up as however you like. And there we go. So, as you can see, we're now on the Android home screen. The device is now fully unlocked. And yeah, so if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.